everyone. So today we are going to discuss question 19 that came as a four marker and it's really interesting question as well. Very easy as well. Okay. So let's see. Christian has cut four small squares from the corners of the large square so that the area, remaining area is half the area of the original square. Okay. The side lengths of the square, small square are shown in the diagram. What is going to be the perimeter of the remaining shape? Okay, so we know that the area of this tiny little square which is having side length of 2 is going to be 4, for 3 it is going to be 9, for 6 it is going to be 36 and for 1 it is going to be 1. Why? Because to find out area of the square, the formula is side times side, correct? That is 2 times 2, 4, 3 times 3, 9, 6 times 6, 36, and 1 times 1 is 1. Okay. Now, we know that the area of all these squares is half the area of the original square. So, what we can do over here is, let's add up all the areas we got. 4 plus 9 plus 1 plus 36. Okay. This is the area of all shaded I am putting the word shaded over here because in the picture it looks shaded, right? And it becomes easier as well to understand. So 4 plus 9 plus 1 plus 36. We are going to get the answer as let's add 1's place and then 10's place. So in 1's place we are having 9 plus 1, 10 and then 6 plus 4, 10 again. So 10 plus 10 is 20. So 0 over here, 1 will carry over, right? Under 10's place. Now 3 plus 2 is 5. So we got the area of these squares as 50. Now the area of actual large complete square is going to be 50 plus 50, the double of it, or we can say 100 square units, right? Because 50 times 2 or 50 plus 50 is 100, right? So we got the complete whole area as 100. Now it's very, very simple. Can you tell me what is going to be the side length of the huge this large square it is going to be 10 right because 10 times 10 is 100 and this is how we find out the area of a square that is side times side 100 right so each side length we got as 10 10 10 and 10 now the question is pretty pretty easy okay we need to find out the perimeter of the shape which is the remaining shape after cutting all the squares that is this part, correct? And we also know that this part and this part is same, right? Same ways, this part and this part is same because it's a square. So I can assume this line is here and this line is here, okay? Same ways, this line as this one and this line as this one. And same ways, I'm assuming this two over here and two over here. One over here, one over here. Why I am doing this? It makes the task easier. Now I need to find out the perimeter of this square. That's it. Right? Because we have assumed all the lines to be the part of that actual square. Right? Because anyways it is going to be of the same length. Now, to find out perimeter of the square, what we need to do is 4 times the side length. That is 10, which is 40. Done. So we got our answer that is option B 40. Pretty easy right? So that is it for today's video. You can join our WhatsApp community. The link is in the description box below and I will see you in the next video. Till then keep learning. Bye bye.